What's up ladies and gentlemen, engineers for tools here to share with you the information on what real owners say about cordless tools. No gimmick, no sale, just feedback from real people. Notice we are not affiliated with Amazon, nor want to sell anything to you. Now let's begin the review. We often get asked the same question but in different forms. Why would you buy an expensive power tool when you can get the same tool, but half the price? In other words, people want to know if brand name power tools are worth their price. This question opens a huge discussion among the people who work with power tools regularly. On the other hand, people believe that the brand name is a guarantee that the quality of the power tool is up to standards. But also, it's wrong to assume that every single branded power tool is amazing, and every single generic power tool has defects. There are some cases when buying an expensive power tool just doesn't make sense, and it's better to get a cheaper version and save your coin. And there are, of course, times when you have to invest in a professional power tool. There's no magical answer that will fit into every scenario, it all depended on the circumstances. And every case should be analyzed separately. And that is our goal today. We are going to look at two very similar power tools, a generic one and the other one made by a very well-known brand. We will analyze the two power tools, compare them, as well as look at what real buyers have to say about them. We will concentrate on their weaknesses because they are harder to find than the advantages. So, let's get down to business. The power tools in question are Ryobi P2108A, 1 plus 100 miles per hour, 18 volt, lithium ion cordless jet fan blower for $72.69 and 20V cordless leaf blower with battery and charger, by Snapfresh, for $69.99. Let's start by saying that their Amazon ratings are very similar. The branded power tool has an overall rating of 4.7 out of 5 and 2% of 1-star reviews. The generic leaf blower has an overall rating of 4.3 out of 5 and 7% of 1-star reviews. That's very close. We should also note that generic leaf blowers have more reviews, and thus, buyers, than the Ryobi tool. That is very interesting and does not happen a lot. But it's too early to make any conclusions. So let's review the two leaf blowers closely. Ryobi 1 Plus Cordless Jet Fan Blower. Before we start, we need to preface this. For this comparison to be fair, we relied on reviews left by real buyers. And we did our best to sort out those reviews and only look at the critical ones. We took into consideration only facts and constructive criticism, leaving emotions and assumptions aside. Upon our little investigation, we found out that buyers of Ryobi One Plus Leaf Blower were most impressed by the following features. It's lightweight. It's well designed. It's convenient to carry. Now let's look at the disadvantages. There are 23 one-star reviews of this product on Amazon. The most common problems buyers had with this product are. It's not strong enough. Well, being battery operated, it's pretty weak compared to a corded blower. It does work well enough to keep the leaves off the sidewalk. The battery doesn't last long. It's a nice blower for places where an extension cord cannot reach or where there are water and a possibility of an electrical shock. The battery doesn't last long so better have one charge to continue working. Generic 20V Cordless Leaf Blower by Snapfresh. The buyers also found this leaf blower lightweight and easy to use, just like the Ryobi blower. But what about criticism? Well, here's what we've found. The most common issues people had with this product are. It's not powerful enough. Did not meet my expectations as advertised as being powerful. Does not blow hard enough to move leaves in a pile. The battery doesn't last long enough. I read the reviews before purchasing. I bought it because I needed something lightweight. I have a small backyard and front yard. The battery lasts 20 to 30 minutes max. About 10 minutes before it dies, I can tell because the blower decreases. I cannot get my yard done in one shot, I have to constantly recharge. It is very easy to use and my arms back do not get tired or sore. As you can see, people had the same issues with this blower as they do with the original one. So, which one is worth buying? Conclusion. Before we say our final thoughts, let's see statistics about the percentage of the negative review. Let's see how it is. For Ryobi branded blower, there are 19,970 total sales, 50 of which had some problems with the battery and were dissatisfied with the product. That is only about 0.4% of buyers with a negative experience, which is not bad at all. For non-branded blower, there are 30,794 buyers, 91 of which had a negative experience. That means that only 0.78% of buyers had problems with the non-branded blower, 
that's less than 1%. Thus, negative experience for branded blower is 0.4% versus 0.78% for the unbranded ones. Now let's go to our final thoughts. We need to talk about several things. First, it's important to take into consideration how much time you are going to use this product. A leaf blower is not a tool that you would use daily. So, investing a lot of money in a thing that will sit still in your garage most of the year doesn't make much sense. Second, let's remember that battery-powered tools are always going to be less powerful than corded ones. There's nothing you can do about it, but it's simply true. But what you can do is think about why you need the blower in the first place. Because battery-powered leaf blowers can be very useful when you know how and when to use them. Cordless leaf blowers like the ones that we've reviewed will be useful for. Blowing off leaves around the pool, using a corded leaf blower around water is very dangerous and could lead to horrible accidents. So a cordless leaf blower is much safer. 2. Cleaning out places where the cord could not reach. 3. Cleaning out places that are too small for a big leaf blower. 4. Cleaning out smooth surfaces, deck, sidewalk, porch, etc. Overall the Ryobi and the generic leaf blowers have the same kind of issue, the battery only lasts for 20 minutes. That issue can be easily solved by having several batteries ready to be used. This way, you can switch them up as you go and not waste time on recharging the battery. Remember that the price of the generic leaf blower is almost the same as the price of the Ryobi blower. But when you buy a generic blower, you also get a battery and a charger, whereas, with Ryobi, you will have to buy those things separately. Also, some things caught our attention. Usually, if you have an issue with your purchase, you can return it and get your money back or get a new product. But with Ryobi, you will have to pay an extra $20 for the return of the defective product. And some buyers said that they don't have time to wait for a new blower, they need something to clean right now. We were also surprised that Ryobi often simply ignored negative reviews or problems that people have with the product. On the contrary, the seller of generic blowers answer every negative comment and do everything they can to help their customers. Taking into consideration the fact that Ryobi has fewer buyers, it's even more impressive for the generic brand to act like this. Taking into consideration everything we've just said, between the generic and branded leaf blower, we will advise you to go for the generic one. Just make sure you have several batteries laying around. This way, you won't have to stop to recharge the battery in the middle of your work. Your opinion can differentiate from what is stated in the video. But if you like the true review based on the experience of real buyers, subscribe to our channel. Please feel free to bring your point of view in the comments. Besides, we'd like to interview you about your experience, just contact us via link in the description. Please ask us in comments to have other products analyzed and support us by the likes, it will encourage us to equip you with the knowledge to make a correct purchase decision. Thanks for watching.